Okay, Shalom. Shalom. Kom je alle. Koholoimla. Jawa. Bahasim. Jawa. Sai. Bahasim. Kahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yachan Anawah. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. And praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Um, let me go off into. Let's get the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36. And I wanted to do this lesson, um, you know, just let's get this real quick. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. So that's something that I pray for every day, you know, praying that I'm accounted worthy. And if I mean, that's a commandment, basically, um, and just being ready, being set, praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to have us prepared for what's to come. You know, um, and being in this truth and, and the Lord is awakening you, that's a good indication that, you know, indicator that, hey, you know, you, you have a far better chance than anybody that's out here that don't believe in, in these scriptures, man. Because you got random people just running around. They just go about their day to day life and it's just day to day for them. They, they don't understand what's going on. And it's scary, you know, when you really think about it. Um, I was dealing with my neighbor yesterday. You know, um, he came and knocked on the door. Older neighbor, too. You no know, gentleman and you know he's in like i don't know 70s could be damn near 80 you know pretty good shape though he pretty you know he gets around and um you know he comes and knocks on the door and he's asking me about some jumper cables i'm like all right cool you know i got you i said well you know he he told me about the positioning of the you know the vehicle was in his garage so it wasn't like i you know could pull up on it or he could pull up on it you know you know he had another vehicle but he was just trying to get this this older car started had a new battery i guess the battery died over the winter or whatever so you know i'm like all right well you know i could just grab my jump box he was like well what's that i'm like how the hell you don't know what a jump box is and, and you know it's just kind of like me thinking about it and i was kind of meditating it on it this morning like how the hell you don't know what a, <laughs> what a jump box is he's like what is that i'm like what do you you know i you know i i thought he worked at a car plant before or something like that you know before he retired and all that but maybe not maybe i was wrong on that but still you think like you know he'd know what a jump box is you know as far as like jumper cables little stuff like that but you know i've helped him out before you know always kind of like hook it up he's kind of i don't know he just not everybody is not an expert on cars i'm not an expert on no car myself personally but it did dawn on me one time years back years back it just hit me over the head you know you know uh and, and and coming into this truth really it hit me over the head that you know why as a grown man would you not have jumper cables in your car you know you know i i, I can remember I, I didn't have jumper cables i didn't have a, a jack in case i caught a flat <laughs> i didn't have a lug wrench you know what I'm saying? Uh, just basic things that as a man, tools, I didn't have a tool kit. You know, even, you know, you can go to, you know, a little local um, auto auto parts place and get a nice ratchet set. You know what I'm saying? With some wrenches and shit in it. Allen wrenches and things of that nature. <laughs> but, you know, when I came into this truth, it's like, you know, you know, you know, spirit just hit me like that. That, you know, you can't be that you can't be unprepared like that. You never know what's going to happen. You know? So, you know, I ended up going and acquiring all those things. And, you know, it, and matter of fact, it has come in, ha in handy. It really has. So I'm using it as an example of being prepared as far as like being in this truth. You know, because when I seen the, the brother, <laughs> I couldn't do nothing. But just, you know, it's just like, you know, he's very, he would be very unprepared as far as like what's to come. And I just spoke with him about the gospel too. He's actually a gospel singer, you know what I'm saying? So I've actually spoken to him about certain things. And you know, when it comes to the truth, and I was actually speaking with him yesterday on it again, cause you know, he mentioned to me, the reason why he was getting the car started was, you know, because of his, his wife, you know, and I don't want to hear her nagging and she do be nagging. I live two houses over from him and I be hearing her with that shit. Like, God damn, I don't know how you live with her, bro. But I mean, he's, I, I, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, he's got to be one of the, the most patient men 
you know, <laughs> like for real. I told him, I said, well, hey, man, that's just a part of the scriptures, man. You know, it's something that we, some of us deal with. He's like, you know, he was like, yeah, well, man, I'm so tired of it, man. I'm just so, I'm like, well, you know, shit, man. And I'm thinking, I ain't even go no further into it. I didn't tell him how to deal with it. None of that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not, you know, you're grown, man. You know what I'm saying? You should be giving me some advice. But the point that I wanted to make is, you know, he just how it just dawned on me, like, you know, like how unprepared he is, you know, type of deal. So when things really go down, it's going to be rough on a lot of our people because they don't, they don't, you know, they don't, you know, Jake spent a lot of money on bullshit. They don't, they don't have the essentials to survive, so to speak, you know? Jake don't have the essentials to survive. I seen a, um, a, a, a young Jake yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, it was yesterday. And, you know, he had a flat tire. Didn't know how to change the flat, man. Didn't know how to change the flat. You know, he, he's like, you know, he, he appeared to be like 18, 19, 20, something like that. Maybe 21, early 20s. But he didn't know how to change no damn flat. So you get out here on the streets and, and a lot of these newer cars too, you know, they're kind of weird, but you know, you still, it's nothing to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of things done change. It's not like you grabbing the tire from the, you know, the, the trunk anymore. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, in some cases you are, but you know, it's not like how they have it now, you know, where they got everything screwed down, locked down. Um, you know, you got to damn read the instructions, you know what I'm saying? On, on how to use the jack, how to, where to put it at and all this other shit, you know, to keep the damn car from falling on you. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a little different, but back in the days it used to be a lot more simpler, you know, but you know, still it's something that you shouldn't know how to do shit, it, you know, but he didn't know how to change that damn tire, man. Anyway, though, you know, so I just thought about it. A couple of scriptures came to mind. Um, and mainly, you know, uh, you know, how about shimmy? I was shy coming like a thief in the night man that's gonna be that's gonna catch a lot of people off guard and 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 and, and people just not gonna be ready man not gonna be ready because our people not paying attention to the news because what did the lord he said to watch and pray he said measure thou the time diligently if you got a person that's out here they're not watching they're not praying they're not looking they just going about life they're gonna get caught off guard they're gonna get caught off guard and when it when it comes, it's gonna be like, oh shit, what happened? What, what's going on? You know, you don't want to be that person. You want to be, you know, one of those people that you know you're you're prepared. You know what's to come. Why? Because you're paying attention. You're praying. You're doing what the Lord wants you to do as far as you're studying and 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 you know you just you keeping an eyeball out, man. You watching. Shit, this <laughs> shit getting crazy out here, and people just running on about life like it's nothing. Anyway. uh this is entitled the day of the Lord, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. That's how it's going to come, man, and catch a lot of people off guard. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. That that day should overtake you as a thief. See? You are the children of the light and the children of day. We are not of night nor darkness. See? So, the point that I wanted to make is... The Lord is preparing you for what's to come. So when it hits or when it comes... Actually, we're going to be in a joyful state. Because we're going to know that, okay, it's next phase, next stage... You know, we're just that much closer to our Lord coming and getting us out of this hell hole, man. See? But like I said, I seen him and it just dawned on me, like, just how unprepared he is as an older gentleman. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you think that he, you know, he got the nice house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the nice, you know what I'm saying? Vehicles and all that little shit like that. But when it comes straight down to just, he, 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 he just don't know about shit, regular manly stuff, I guess, man. It just, it just kind of. Cause that's not the first time he's come and knocked on my door. He's, you know, every already knew, you know, as soon as I seen him, like, yep, he needs something. <laughs> Cause that's the only time, you know, really your neighbors fuck with you anyway. Cause that's the, you know, they'll speak and stuff. They, it's not like they ruled or nothing like that. I'll, I'll see him from a distance and they'll say hi, say hi, whatever, whatever, you know, but you know, normally when he's tapping on the door, I already be knowing there's something he needs a tool. He needs to borrow, um, um, a, you know, shit like a screwdriver, you know, like, <laughs> regular shit you know what i'm saying that you think that a person would have and, and like i said i'm not i'm no expert at it because you know before i came into the truth years back 
I didn't have a lot of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew how to do a few things, but it was just like, you know, shit, man, you a grown ass man. You riding around, you don't have no tools. You don't have no tools. You know, it just, it just, it, I felt kind of bold about it. Like, you know, you don't have no damn jack. You don't have no, 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 um, lug wrench. You don't have no, no, no pliers, no, no screwdriver, no nothing. Like, how, what kind of, you know, and I'm work, and I work. You know, I'm working. It's not like I don't have the money to go and have, you know, grab those particular types of things and be prepared in case something happens. It was just that it, you know, just, I was just be, before being in the world type of deal. I, that's just shit that just didn't even matter I, it just never crossed my mind you know if some shit happened you got to call somebody it's two o'clock it's three o'clock what in the morning whatever you know what i'm saying you might be somewhere and you catch a flat you can't even change your damn tire who coming who getting out of their bed for for you man especially as a grown-ass man you're gonna be looking like huh shit you better call triple a <laughs> you know but anyway man let me get another one let's get on um, this second peter just being prepared, man, goes a long ways in these scriptures. That's why the, um, the scriptures talks about, matter of fact, let me get this one, Isaiah 33. In verse 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. See, this strength, your strength, your, your stability is going to come from his wisdom and his knowledge. See? You had to be prepared. You're going to be prepared through the words. See, why everybody running around like a chicken with the head cut off, you're going to be set, set, settled in and, and just looking at them and basically kind of giggling or laughing. You know, things going to get rough. You know what I'm saying? We, we know that, but you're going to know why it's rough. They're not going to understand. It's going to hit people over the head like a ton of bricks, man, when, when, when the Lord gets down, man. Well, let's go back to, um, let's get that Second Peter chapter 3. Let me see. Uh, let me start at verse 9. 2 Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, and as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us work, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in, in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein... The heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So the point that I wanted to make is the Lord coming like a thief and people going to be caught off guard because they're not going to be prepared. You want to be prepared as you possibly can be, man. That's why, you know, we constantly do these lessons. <laughs> constantly standing in the scriptures you know constantly watching and praying because we have to you know hey we have to let warn the flock let the flock know what's going on keeping our people up on game you know and then and, and, and in return we're, we're put on game as well y'all about some y'all stop putting us on game you know and we pass it on along you know let's get this one uh Let me start. Revelations, I'm going to start at verse 2 here. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before Yahweh. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come as a thief as, as a thief. I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So, you know, it's, it's constant work that we have to do. We have to constantly repent, you know. You know, repentance is, is a day-to-day -day thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, it's not over with once you, soon as you come into the truth. It's like, oh, well, you know, I'm, you know, I don't have anything to do now. It's, this is not your, your normal, regular Christianity here, you know. 
We have to repent daily. We, we should be watching and praying constantly and just praying to Yahweh about Shimei Yahweh for his mercy and his grace, man. Right? Because we don't want to get caught off guard, man. I, I don't want to get caught off guard. It's scary, man. It's getting, it's getting, you know, it's getting, it's getting, it's, it's getting, getting to a point where it's like, man, wow, we starting to see everything play out. You know? But this is uh, Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And, and, and you know, that's going off into having on that garment of, of, of this word, this, this, this righteousness of the scriptures, man. You want to be fully, you know, clothed, man. You don't want to be caught out here naked. You don't want to get caught out here like that, man. You, you see, it says again, behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth, keepeth his garments. What are you watching for? He said to watch and pray. The watching part keeps you prepared. That's the that's part of the preparation of, of watching. You know, it keeps you prepared as to what's to come. All right, I see that. You know, the Lord spoke on that. We see, you know, um, you know, like uh, Matthew 24, where the disciples asked the Lord what would be happening, you know, in the end days just before his coming. And the Lord went off into a list of things. We see those things happening. We see those things coming. The wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, famines, you know, earthquakes in diverse places. When we see all that stuff, we like, yeah, we getting closer. Things like ecl that eclipse that just passed. You know, the shit that's going on over in Israel, the least of the flock shall draw them out. All that, 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 that third woe, that World War Three, um, you know, um, in transition. The MOTB, the Mark of the Beauty and the Beast is in transition. Right. So we, we supposed to be watching watching for those things. Warning the flock when we see it. And again, you know. I got to say, you know, you know, the brothers that, you know, hey, you into this truth, man, you know, this truth, you got some knowledge, you got some wisdom in this truth. You may not be the 100% the, the expert right off, but if you know milk scriptures, man, you, you, you know enough to the point where you can do a lesson, you can bring out um, um, two to three precepts on a subject. You know, you see earthquakes happening on the news. Why can't you go off into Matthew chapter 24 and mention this is one of the things that the Lord spoke of? real quick it don't even take that long so it's a lot of brothers that sitting around they're not doing nothing they're not um, um doing no lessons they're not you know um going out on the highways and byways you know and the lord gonna deal with you for that man he gonna deal with you for it because you're you know you're basically you know one of those people matter of fact the lord called you uh uh, uh what's the guy with the napkin he called him um uh, a wicked a wicked nigga man <laughs> let's see <laughs> oh man let me see here. Wonder how, how it's worded. Uh, yep. Let's get this in in loop. I'm just gonna get to the point. If you're familiar with the with the you know the this uh, you know the parable of the talents, man. And another came saying, "Lord, behold, here is thy pound which I have kept laid up in a napkin, for I feared thee because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that." Thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, O wicked servant, or thou wicked servant. You're a wicked servant, man. If you know this truth, and you and you holding up, and you just chilling, you're not warning the flock. You know, Jake on their phone doing everything else. There's nothing to turn on your phone and do a quick lesson, man. Okay, it says, um. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that, that at my coming I might have required my, my own with usury. Well, like, man, shit, I could at least, you know, got some interest on my shit. You just sitting on it. You could have put it in the bank. <laughs> you know, so, hey, we're, you, hey we're, we're at the end, man. You know, we, and, and matter of fact, that's why I always pray for more laborers for the harvest too, man. I, that's all. That's some. I'm, I'm praying. I pray that. I, I don't know how many times a day. Lord, please raise up more laborers for the harvest. Because the har you said the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. The more harvesters we got, guess what? The quicker the work will get done. More, you know. You know, you got Jake. Jake not even praying. <laughs> pray, man. To y'all about some outside, man. That this shit ends for us soon, man. Here, man. We want out of here. You should want out of here. You know.
but I just wanted to just chop it up on a quick lesson on being prepared. Just keeping, um, you know, keeping it because hey, summer, summer about to break. It's hot in a lot of places already. I seen Jake out yesterday. You know what I'm saying? It was a pretty warm day here, and, and you know Jake out here ready to party already, man. So don't get caught up in the bullshit. Keep your eyes single. Stay straight forth on the path, man, and don't let none of this bullshit, uh, no none, none of these weirdos pull you out of this. Well, you know. Watch and pray, man. Pray to Yahweh about Shemia Shadi to keep you on that straight and narrow, man. For real. That narrow gate. Not the not the broad and wide. You're following the multitude to do evil, man. So, anyway. Preparation, man, is, is key. You always want to be prepared. It's always that person that's prepared, man. You know, you got these 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 preppers and shit like that. <laughs> you know. We understand that, you know, through Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's him that's going to take care of us. We, you know, it's nothing wrong with you prepping a little bit. If you want to put some shit up, you know what I'm saying? Have a few things put to the side. Nothing wrong with that. But you better know that it's Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He's in control of whether or not you eat. Whether, you know, he's in control of where you're going to be. He's in control of where your children, family, everybody going to be. So don't get caught up, you know what I'm saying? You know, but these preppers. Hey, shit, they, they <laughs> on a carnal level, they prepared. <laughs> they, they prepared. Shit, go down, they, they prepared. They got, they, you know, they, they stocking. But again, you know, a lot of them, they stocking that stuff, man, for somebody else to get. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Solo.